Hello. Hello, grade five. Hello. Uh, today we are going to make a revision for our midterm exam. Okay? Yes. So starting by the first question, I need to read the table carefully and answer the questions that follows. Okay? Starting by the first question. First of all, I have the planet. Uh, I have three planets and the distance from these planets to the Earth. For example, the distance from Mars to the Earth is 56 million and 3,000. And the distance from Venus to the Earth is 40 million and 2,800 kilometers. Okay? And the distance from Jupiter to the Earth is 591 million and 2 tenths. Okay? So, the first question is I need to write the standard form of the distance from Mars to the Earth. So, I have it in the word form and I need to write it in the standard form. What do I have? 56 million and 3,000. In order to write the standard form of a word form, first I need to underline the important keywords that indicates the classes that I have. The first class I have it is million and thousand. And I need also to circle the M because it represents the point. So what do I have in the million? 56 million. So I, I write 56 and how many zeros? Six. The end represents point. What do I have in the decimal part? Thousand. So I have zero, zero, three. So this is the standard form of the distance from Mars to Earth. Now I need to write the expanded form of the distance from Venus to Earth, which is 40 million and 28 hundred. So what do I have? 40 million. So I have 40, and how many zeros? Six. And it means plus, I have 28 hundred, which means I have 0 0.2 plus 0 0.08. Very good. Okay? And now I need to arrange the distances from the greatest to the least. So the greatest number to the least number. In order to arrange them, I need to have them in the standard form. We wrote the first one. Let us write the second one, which is 40 million. Point 0.28, right? Yes. And the third one is 591 million. Point two. Point two. So what do you think the greatest number is? So it's a Jupiter, right? It's a Jupiter is greater than Mars is greater than Venus. That's it. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, now question number two. In the first part, I need to write the following decimals in word four. I mean, 34. So how do I write it? It's 34. And what, I mean, five tenths. Five tenths. Excellent. Now the second one. Yes, Muhammad. One hundred twenty and five hundred. Very good. So it's one hundred twenty and five hundred. Very good. Five hundred. Rim. Five thousand. Now the second part, I have I have them in the word form. I need to write them in the standard form. Yes, Nurjan. Thirty-seven and ten 
Two and tenths. Ten. How do I write it? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven point, point two. two. Very good. Philip. Four, forty-two and thirty-four thousand. Forty-two and thirty-four thousand. Forty-two and thirty-four thousand. Forty-two point zero zero three four. Zero. Sorry. Zero three four. Four. Very good. Okay. X. The last one, yes, Adam. Seven thousand zero point zero zero seven. Excellent. 7, Is it clear? Yes. yes. Great. Now, question number three. Uh, I need to change the following decimal numbers into decimal fractions. Okay. So for the first one, Fatima. Very good. So just to make a little revision, uh, when I need to write the number as a decimal fraction, I write the number as it is, without a point, then the denominator should be 10, 100, 1000. It depends on how many digits I have in the decimal, num in the decimal part. And here in the decimal part, I have two digits. So it's 100. Is it clear, Jan? Yes. Okay. Can you do the second one, please? 736.5. So how do I write it? It's 7,365 over. Very good. The third one, Rena? Yes. Excellent. Maria? Yes. <coughs> Excellent. Over. <coughs> Very good. Yes, Habib. Over. Uh, Very good. Noor. Point to twelve. So how do I write it? One seven. Over. Very good. So are the steps clear? Yes. yes. Good. Now the fourth question. I need to make the decimal fractions decimal num uh, decimal numbers. Yes. Okay. So a device. Starting by the first one. Father, how do I write this fraction as a decimal? Very good. Yes. The second one, Karim? 4.5. 4.5. Very good. The third one, yes, Serene? Very good. Jad? Seventy-one. Yes, seventy-one point twenty-three. Very good. Next, yes, Rena. Uh, Two point five. Very good. Hamad Swiss, can you do this one for for me? Ninety-eight over one thousand. How do I write it as a decimal number? <coughs> Zero point. Zero nine eight. Now, yes, Philippe. 6.78. Very good. And the last one. Yes, Nurjan. 8.003. Excellent. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Good. Now I need to compare the following decimal numbers. <laughs> Just to remind you, uh, if I want to compare the decimal numbers first, I start by the whole Part. I compare the whole part. If they are equal, then I go to the decimal part and I compare them digit by digit. So for the first one, here I have 25 as a whole part. And here I have a 25 as a whole part. So I go to the decimal part and I start comparing digit by digit. The first digit is 
And here I also have uh, I have five. And I have zeros, and also I have here zeros. So these numbers are equal. Okay. Let us do the second one. Yes, Noor. First, we, we start comparing the whole part. What do you think? Fifth, I have 56 and 57. So what do you think? Yes, directly this number is greater than the decimal number. Yes, Amir. Yes, what do you see? The same. So I go to the... The first digit is... While here is... So, very good. So 123.5 is greater. Okay? Is it clear? Fatima, can you do the last one? So, yes, so 7,755 is greater than 7,654. So, are the steps of comparing clear? Yes. Can we go to the second question? To the sixth, actually. Okay? Now, I need to round the following numbers. This is very important question. Okay? I will start by Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, first, I need to round to the nearest ones. Where is the one? The two. Two. Excellent. What do I have before the two? Seven. So, what happens to the two? It becomes a three. All the right part. So the number is eighty-three. Okay. Continue, Muhammad. Now I need to round it to the nearest tenth. Where's the tenth here? The seven. What do I have before seven? Very good. So the number becomes eighty-two. 82.8. Very good. Now the third one, I need to round it to the nearest hundreds. Which the hundreds? Eight. Eight. What do I have just before the eight? Five. So what will happen to the eight? Nine. Very good. So it becomes? Uh, 82.779. I don't put the zero. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Now the second one, Adam. Where's the ones here? Three. What do I have just before three? Three. What will happen to the first three? It will, uh, it will remain the same. So what will be the number? 123. Very good. Now I need to round it to the? Tenths. Tenths. The tenths the tenth is three. What do I have just before three? Seven. So? Very good. So give me the number. Very good. Now, hundreds, which is the seven. What do I have just before seven? Does the four? Very good. It remains the same. So the number becomes point. Excellent. Very good. The third one. Yes, Amir. Two. Two. So, it stays the same. so it's two. excellent. Now, one, one. 2.2, excellent. Now, so, excellent. Very good. Now, I want Habib. Yes, Habib. Uh, zero, five, so plus one, Very good. Plus one, so five, so excellent. Five. Yes. So. Very good. Now the last one. Five, five, and we pass for the five. Very good. And 200, uh, 66. 200 point? 66. 56. Excellent. 
Is it clear? Yes. yes. Excellent. Let us go to the question number seven. Now, in question number seven, you need to multiply this fraction in order to make equal fractions. Okay? Reeve, can you do the first one with me? What do you think I should multiply by? Ten. By ten? So, I should multiply up by ten and down by ten. So, what do I get? 30 over 70. Very good. Now what? Multiply by 10. By 10. Another 10? Yes, you can. What do I get? 300 over 700. Very good. Now what? By. Now by? Two. By 2? Yes, you can. So what do I get? 600. 600 over? 1,000. 400. Now, what do you think I should multiply by? Uh, 10. Another 10. Yes, you can. So, what do I get? 6, over. <coughs> over uh, 1,000 or 14,000. Is it clear? Yes. You can multiply by any number you want. But I prefer the 2 and 10 more because uh, less calculations, okay? Good dream. Now I want Habib to help me. Yes, Habib. What do you think I should multiply by? Times two. Times two? Come. Yes. So times two and times two. What do I get in this case? Uh, eight over. Eight over F, uh, 18. Very good. Now what? <coughs> now times uh, ten. Times ten. Yes, you can. What do I get? Uh, 80, 80, 80, and, and 100, and over 180. Very good. Now what? Times 2. Times 2, yes. Times 2, and times 2. What do I get? Uh, 140. It's 160, 160 over, over um, 18 times 2 is 36, right? Yes. 30, so, 360. 360. Now, I need to multiply by? 10. Yes, you can. So, what do I get? Uh, 1,600. Over? Uh, over 3,600. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Now, the, the last one. Yes, Nurjan. I should multiply by? Two. Yes, you can. By 2. By 2. What do I get? 14 over 22. 14 over 22. Very good. Now I will multiply by? 2. two. So what do I get? 28, 28 over 44. Over 44. <coughs> now? By 10. By 10. 280. 280. 440. Yes. And times ten. Times ten. Two thousand eight hundred. Two thousand eight hundred. Four thousand four hundred. Four thousand four hundred. Excellent. Is it clear, guys? Yes. yes. You can multiply by by any number you want. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. In part B, I need to divide the fraction in order to make equivalent fractions. Yes, Fatima. Very good. So I need to divide by a number divisible by both terms of the fraction, right? So 28 is divisible by 7 and 35 is divisible by 7. So what do I get? 4 over 5. Excellent. Amir, can you help me in the second one? By 5. Very good. What do I get? Over. Sixteen. Mm. It's sixteen, I guess, right? Sixteen times five is eighty. It's eighty, right? Okay. So I get sixteen. Now what, Amir? By two. Very good. What do I get? Two. Over. Eight. 
16 divided by 2 is? What do you think I should divide by now? By? By 2. Very good. By 2. So what do I get? 1 over. Very good. The third one, Karim, what do you think I should divide by? I have 75 over 125. <coughs> No, it's by 5. It's obvious that I need by 5. By five. So what do I get? Se uh, 75 divided by 5 15. is 15, 15 over, 25. over 25. Now what do you think I should divide by, Karim? Divide. So do you think 25 is divisible by 3? So I should check both of them. By? Both of them are divisible by 5. Now, 15 divide 5, uh, three. 25 divide five. Uh, 5, very good, so that's it. I need to check whether the both, the numerator and the den denominator are divisible by the number, okay? Is it clear? Good. Now, I need to compare the following fractions. In order to compare the fractions, they should have at least either the same denominator or the same <coughs> numerator. For the first two fractions, they don't have the same numerator or the same denominator. So in order to compare them, I need to make their denominators the same. So what do you think I should multiply the 4 by? And the numerator? So what do I get? 6 over 8. Now what do you think? 2 over 8 or 6 over 8? Which one is greater? 6 over 8. Very good. So we are done for the first one. The second one, I see that both they have the same numerator. So I go to the denominator. If they have the same numerator, the smaller the denominator, the greater the fraction. So what do you think? 6 over 8. Yes, it's over 6 over 8. The last one, they don't have the same numerator or the same denominator. So I make the denominators the same. How? By multiplying the 10 by 2. two. Okay? So I multiply 10 by 2 and 5 by 2. So what do I get? 10 over 2. So I notice that they e are e equal. equal. Great. Now, the last question is a word problem. Okay? I have Ali and Tala bought 120 flowers. Ali took 2 over 5 of them. And Tala took 6 over 15 of them. Okay? I have two questions. The first question is I need to know how much each of them took. And the second question, I need to compare who took more. So let us answer the first part. I need to know each one of them how much took. Okay? So let us first know Ali. Ali took... 2 over 5 of 120. So it, it is equal 2 over 5 times 2 times 120 over 5, which is 2 times 24 equals 48 flowers. Very good. Now, what I need to know, Tala, I need to know how much Tala took. Tala took 6 over 15 of 120, which is 6 over 15 over 15, which is 6 times 48 flowers. So we answered the first part of the question. Now I need to check who took more. So what do you think? So they took the same amount of flowers. So is it clear? Yes. Are you ready for the exam? Yes. Good luck.